This is a quick introduction, a quick guide, and a how-to for the Trigger Charts Commander Series. And what we're really going to show you today is about the multi-time frame addition to the indicator. Now, what I really want you to focus on here is the, the top. When we're looking at the top here, and we're looking at this, this area of the where we have the uh, radar screen inside of the indicator. The important thing to really recognize is that now you're seeing across the whole entire top, you're seeing that there is a trade bias, bars ago, trade bias, bars ago. So what we have is multiple time frames, and we'll go through exactly what those are in a second. Multiple time frames, and these multiple time frames, you can look at on the top, you have a 30 minute, you have a 60 minute, 240 minute, daily, and a weekly. Now, you can have up to three minutes, different minute time frames, and the daily and the weekly. Essentially, you can actually do a little bit differently if you configure it differently, and I'll show you that in a second as well. But the important thing to remember here really is that you have the ability right now to have this really nice level of um, minutes, dailies, and weeklies. So now, when we look at this, really the benefit is that you can look straight across. So we start right across and looking right across for okay what's happening well we see we'll race this we'll see okay well we have long on the ES and that's been three bars on the 30 minute we have long on the trade bias on the 60 and what you're starting to see which what you don't see before was a little bit of a change it was actually flashing a little while ago to show you a long alert and now it did confirm out and as you're seeing well the longer time frames are in fact nicely uh, set in a 13 bars 13 days long and a nine long you can see that the short term is starting to pick up as well now the big difference in this is that you're seeing this across and what's nice is it's easily to, able to be scanned and when you can scan this you're easy easily able to find then opportunities that are popping up in the right area all the variables in terms of the settings are pretty much the same but instead of looking this at this on a you know down and seeing this in a in a uh, very difficult way to look at it it makes it much easier to scan along so you're seeing right now for example I'll expand this a little bit we're seeing a long alert on the stock IPS when you click any of these obviously you'll see that the the daily and the weekly will change as well now you can change any of these charts you want and each of the charts comes with the autopilot each of them come with the um, radar and the altimeter and you can turn those off and on at will but basically what's nice about this is that when we do take this on and off we show the autopilot now here on IPS and we're seeing that there's a long alert we're gonna zoom into this you see that the long alert just appeared on the daily so you see that this just turned uh, yellow this right here turned yellow and we are on a long alert on IPS daily. Weekly is blank. You'll see that the weekly is blank, which coincides right now to this area as well. So and I'll expand this for you as well, and you can see that. But what I really wanted to focus on here is that when you add a stock, first of all, a few things you need to know. This interval column here, you have to have 30 minutes. That's the minimum interval that you need to have in there. Everything is calculated off a 30-minute multiple in terms of the minutes. So you have a 30 minute, 60 minute, 240. Now the Z test up here, you see this on the top left here, which is really just a blank that we're putting in there. That's just giving you a column header. We program this so you can easily see there's no better way to do this and no way to really do this inside of this other than looking at this particular um, way of doing it so you can see across the top. Now when we click on this and we say right click it and format it, you're seeing that there is a good amount of settings in here and this is the standard settings that come with this. But let's say that we wanted to change something and we want to do a 90 minute for example and we want to do 120 minute. Okay, and we'll leave the daily here and the weekly here. Now again, all these other settings are inside of the user guide. You can find out more about what each of these mean. But basically the whole idea is to look at the multi time frame at this point. Now that's how quickly it all changes. Look how nicely that loads. We are using synthetic bars and we created this. This is a, a something that really nobody else has done at TradeStation. And you can see that we're seeing a different flavor of this right now. And this does flash in real time dependent on the actual condition. 
So again, if you're looking at what does a long profit mean, what does a short profit mean, what's a long alert mean, you can look at the user guide to figure out what all that is saying and what the, all that means. But it happens in real time very quickly. And when you add new stocks also, let's add or, or, a, uh, or a future or Forex, whatever it may be. Um, let's take a look at, let's say, Apple. We'll put that in here. Uh, until this becomes active, it may take a few seconds to gather all the data here, or it may not be anything that's going on. It's waiting for data. Okay, there you go. It takes a few seconds to pull in all of the data, and then you have that Apple is long on a trade bias, again, of a 30-minute here. I'll take out one of these here so we can get this in. Uh, it is, uh, and I had to shrink this down for the video, but on 30 minutes long, four bars, you see that coincides right here to four bars. Uh, if we looked at that, actually, it's uh, four or five bars, actually, excuse me, on the daily. One, two, three, four, five, right? Um, and that's when it skipped up on the daily basis. Uh, we're looking at, um, actually, this is showing four bars plus one, I guess, is what it is. Um, so when we're looking at this and we're seeing, uh, that's because I'm on AXP. I knew something was wrong there. Let's take a look at this. So that's another thing. You have to make sure to click. <laughs> good, good lesson here. You have to click on the symbol to actually bring up the chart. So we count one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it coincides there. We have eight, one on the alert, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's how you can see what's going on there. And you can bring this back, of course, with your down arrow or your up arrows. And you can see what's happening and see the long, short, etc. Great way to scan. Uh, just a terrific way to scan because you see what's happening on a short or long uh, on any basis. And you can then click any of these to see what's happening. On ES, we now have on a 120 minute a short profit. Uh, what's happening is a dedicated short, but it's obviously popping above, so you need to watch for that. And we are seeing that on a 30 minute basis. We are seeing three bars, 90 minute nothing, etc. So play with the settings, but realize that it's very powerful now in terms of how this is all put together for on a multi time frame across looking horizontal to do a quick scan for trigger charts autopilot on a multi time frame within the Commander Series indicator for TradeStation.